first postseason. Welcome back to sports, everyone. I'm Chaz Messman. Tonight, the first ever girls flag football CIF playoffs kicked off across San Diego City section. At Shimamoto, Simpsons, Shimamoto Simpson Stadium, the eight seed Imperial Tigers hosted the nine seed Santa Fe Christian Eagles, who were being helped coached by NFL legend Drew Brees. First half tied at six, Giselle Carrillo fakes the toss, and she's going to hit Mariana Pescaria, who's going to take it into the end zone for the touchdown. The Tigers take a 12-6 lead. Next possession, Kenzie Kennard back to pass. She's going to fire deep over the middle, but that's going to be intercepted by Pescaria. Imperial would drive right down the field on fourth and goal. Carrillo's going to hit Hannah Johnson, but she is going to be stopped at the one-yard line by Tatum Taylor. The Eagles trying to score right before the half, and Kennard is going to connect with Malia Reeves, who's going to spin away from one defender and step out of bounds. Very next play, Kennard back to pass once again, but she is going to be intercepted by Ivana Estrada. Estrada is going to take it all the way back to the house for the touchdown. As time expires, Imperial gets another score on the board. To the second half we go, Carrillo is going to connect with Johnson. That extends the Tigers' lead. Santa Fe Christian would respond with a late score of their own, but Imperial would be, prove to be too much as they take home this one, 24-12, and advance to the quarterfinals where they will face Classical Academy. The six-seeded Eagles in the first playoff round uh, in action in El Centro as they hosted the 11 seed. Canyon Springs Cougars. The winner would play three-seeded Polly. We'll start things off in the first set. Eagles down one. Cadence we will setting for Abigail Antiveros, who puts that one out of reach for the Cougars, and that ties it at three. Later on, Southwest up three. Valerie Salazar sets for we will. Canyon Springs has no return, and the Eagles extend their lead to four. The lead's still four right now. Rosemar Dueño on the serve, and that's going to be perfect placement for the ace. Make it a five-point lead for Southwest. They would roll here in this one. They win this thing three to nothing in straight sets and advance to the next round. On Thursday, they will head on the road to face Polly at 6 p.m. And now for some news on the pitch as Arizona Western College men's soccer learned who they will be facing in the NGCAA tournament. Earlier today, the Matadors come into the tournament as the number one seed as they look to avenge losses in the past two national title games. Head coach Kenny Dale and sophomore midfielder Terry Mekadika talking about how they feel that the match can win it all. I'm really excited. I think this is one of our best teams we've ever had. Every year we keep building and building and... I think these guys support each other very well, and our depth at every position makes it a little bit better than teams in the past. So I think we are able to make a success because of the chemistry. We have a good coach, and this team have like a lot of talent. with a good coach and a good practice. So yeah, so yeah, I think we're gonna go far. The Matadors will be heading on the road to Wichita tomorrow morning, and they will open up against 12 seed Casper on Sunday at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. And sticking with Matador soccer, the women's team also found out their fate in the tournament as the Lady Mats earned themselves a sixth seed. This was the highest ever AWC had been selected and only the second time in program history that they've qualified for the big dance. Here's sophomore Ashley Martinez and head coach Victor Verdugo talking about how they are moving and getting ready for this historic appearance. Yeah, I mean, we work so hard to be there, so... I think that's a good ranking for us, and also it's a good uh, theme. Um, we've started looking at each of the potential opponents. I think um, for us, our, our, th our thought process going forward is always we're going to focus on us. We'll be aware of the opponent, um, but our football is what's gotten us to where we're at. The women's tournament also taking place in Wichita. The Lady Mats will open up on Monday as they'll face 10-seeded Navarro, and that is all we have time for in sports.